Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, 04 June. RBA just cut. Not much going on in Oz. Uh, up to about 95, back down to 65. We're waiting for low, basically. Um, he will be speaking in a couple hours' time. So, 11.30. 11.30 Swiss time. So we don't expect Oz to move much more. This was widely expected. Um, this cut, we'll have to see. Uh, my sense is that um, if he signals more cuts are on the way, Aussie will get crushed. Uh, but we'll have to see. Uh, it's really all dependent, totally dependent on what he says. There's no point in pre-trading this. Um, we'll have to see. Let's, if you look at the chart, it's very similar to the Euro chart. Uh, and very similar situation uh, to positioning. So the market's short. Everyone got caught short yesterday. Similar to how we got caught short Euros yesterday. We have made a marginal new high today, um, but the story, I think, is just overwhelming. Um, the China story keeps getting, I think, I would say slightly worse every day. Um, the stupid things that Trump keeps saying to stir the pot, even while in the UK, he was threatening the UK about dealing with China. Um, this isn't going to add, uh, this isn't going to add anything to allay fears and then of course the fang move yesterday uh, we'll get into stocks in a sec but um, all things point to negativity for Aussie the China story their housing story their productivity story um, the only positives I can see are the price of uh, gold and iron ore are higher so in that sense uh, Aussie could go higher if you believe that's the driver and I guess an important positive could be that the market is short uh, how many people cut yesterday I don't know um, we'll have to see let's go to euro um, yesterday you know we sold 80s stopped out at 12 now we have this triple top here, uh, 112.66. A lot of people are asking me if I think this is going to go higher. Um, certainly the chart looks like it's going to go higher. We should pause here at 112.90. This is the trend line, the sort of long-term trend line here, um, encompassing all of 2019 and half of 2018. And then here's the 200-day bit surprised uh, with the move yesterday considering where boons are but US rates I guess have just gone so fast lower that this is driving the bus so keep an eye on US rates as a driver here we do have European CPI today which could surprise on the top side we've had such low inflation it would be his, it would be very very surprising if that thing came in hot and if it did euro would shoot higher I don't expect that I expect a small range today. We probably will get through this uh, 61, we'll call it, uh, the break should probably be around 62 today. This was a 63 and a half high. This was 64.9, so call it 65. You could probably draw a little descending trend line here, just minor. Uh, this is what people are going to be drawing today. And, this is where the momentum traders will be. Right, oops. Right here. So, there'll be some risk here. Let's call it through 61. Whether we continue higher after that, I'm not sure. Um, well, obviously, we have ECB later this week. Um, we do also have services PMI tomorrow. All these numbers will give us a story. The thing with the euro is we've been in this downtrend for so long, this could be a squeeze. So right now we're square euro. We may try and grab some cash through 61 on just a very tactical short-term trade just because we know there's going to be risk there. Um, but after sort of getting burnt yesterday, we're leaving it alone. 
one of the things we do like, uh, which worked out for us yesterday, is short odds, a uh, short dollar CAD. Um, today you can sell dollar CAD back up into 80. So we're trading at 43. The high has been 48. The low has been 32. Um, you can add this through 30. We don't really have any CAD news. This will be driven a lot by the euro dollar price action um, and just general dollar price action in general. Crude, the correlation with crude is pretty well broken right now. Crude's not doing much. Indecisive day yesterday. We shot up to 54.60. We were down at 52.20 at the open. Looks like we're going to get some sideways action in crude, um, but the risk is further down to surprise people. Um, and we attack 50 bucks. You know, the, the first real sport is 48 bucks. So uh, we're definitely still risk off. And so I wouldn't be long crude. But we do like uh, fading dollar CAD today um, in the currency space. What else is out there? Let's just have a quick look at the Aussie. I guess the five minute chart will give you the picture. We zipped up there, 92, we zipped down, 65, and now we're waiting for low. I guess today on the day, um, prices down through 50 um, will be meaningful for the bears. This 50 point, or this 59 point, sorry. This would be the natural stop for anyone who got long um, during the RBA. And so if low is speaking, cheeky stop at 58 is probably not a bad idea. Aussie yen, same kind of a thing. We like Aussie yen lower. Um, didn't really clear this whole 45 region, which was the big breakdown. Um, if you look at this bigger picture, we're just now in this risk off, you want your stop above 7580. Um, but we've made a new low today marginally. I mean, yesterday we made a new low, but closed higher. Today we're still on the inside. Again, if low is negative, Aussie ends probably a better horse than Aussie dollar just because of the risk off. Um, risk off, let's go to stocks. The fangs yesterday got smoked, so NASDAQ really was the horse. We're, we're trading short in the S&P, core short, so we didn't really have much love. We, there wasn't a lot, of do, lot to do yesterday. We did, we did touch this very, very important 30 level, and this is sort of the next mega level here. We'll call it 70, uh, 27, let's call it 27, 27, just to be, just to be cool. The high in March was 27.26.50. The high yesterday was 27.28.75. So 27.27, hourly close through that should yield. Um, there will be some stops down there now as it's a natural place to get long if you're a dip buyer. Um, today we expect a, a middling day um, and we will be selling between 2775 and 2800 on the medium term book. Tactically, uh, we will break trade this through 2730, um, but we don't expect much news. Uh, but I tell you what, when Facebook and Google and the fangs get smacked like that yesterday, this is not good for the stock market as a whole. And I would call it incredibly important for the risk off story for continued risk off now we need more bearish news to make this to make this really happen I want to note today also that uh, Powell's speaking at um, five minutes to four Swiss time so 355 uh, that is worth watching obviously people will be watching very closely what he says Let's look at PTPs. Uh, someone explained to me what the fuck happened here yesterday, except for the fact that, you know, we lost 60 ticks. Um, big bullish day on the PTPs. No idea why. Makes absolutely no sense to us. Uh, Italy is broken. And, you know, what a clusterfuck that press conference was. Started six minutes late. 
said a bunch of nothing. The Facebook feed went down. I mean, I guess the Facebook feed going down wasn't Italy's fault, but it was just sort of endemic to what I consider a clusterfuck. Anyway, we're uh, Square BTPs. We will we'll relook at this with prices, uh, you know, if price confirms story. We're not going to fight this, um, fight this story. Gold, we squared our gold 1310. It's continued higher for another 20 bucks. Quite, quite a day. Um, this is very important, and it looks like it's going to continue to go higher. I don't think a lot of people have this. Uh, and with risk off threatening to increase, the next level is 1350. Should at least pause there. Um, you could probably sell it there first time with gold bullish of course with euro uh, pushing down the big dollar gold is another way to express this trade finally dollar yen bearish you can see the theme right now is US equities are getting smashed and people are selling US dollars so this could this could easily be tied together in a sense that any foreigner who's invested in the U.S. equity market now has to sell. They sell their um, <clears throat> sell their equity position. They have dollars. They have to sell those dollars and repatriate it into their local currency, whether it's in Europe um, or anywhere in the world. Uh, this seems to be correlated at the moment. There's a lot of other stories going around, but. Dollar yen looks like it's going to continue on lower. The next uh, level is 107.80. You can just sell rallies in dollar yen um, pretty safely, I think. Our focus today is uh, selling dollar CAD. We'll be watching Euro 112.61, and we'll be selling high ones in the equity markets. Good luck out there, people. Make some dough. Catch you tomorrow. Ciao.